I built Perlenspiel as a tool for making digital toys and games. But strictly speaking, it is not a game engine. It has no built-in preference or support for any particular type of game or style of interaction, and makes no assumptions about how it ought to be used. Its appearance, capabilities, and operation are, by design, primitive. A web page running Perlenspiel has two basic features. In the center of the page is the grid, a rectangular raster of megapixels, large colored squares displayed over a solid color background. The grid doesn't need to be square. You can specify any rectangular layout, ranging from a single giant bead to a maximum of 32 beads horizontally or vertically. You can change the layout of the grid and the color of its background anytime you want. You can also control the color and many other visual attributes of each bead individually. Above the grid is a single line of text. This status line can, if you wish, be used to communicate short messages to your players. The title of your game, instructions, scoring, time limits, dialogue, taunts, or anything that will fit in about 16 characters. The headline text and its color can also be changed anytime. A grid of squares and one line of text. That's all you get. Shortly after its release, a wag on Twitter called Perlenspiel the punk game engine. Those of you acquainted with modern development tools like Unity, Unreal, ZBrush, and Maya may be wondering how anyone could hope to design an interesting, appealing game with an engine as crude as Perlenspiel. This apparent limitation on your creativity is, I assure you, quite deliberate. You see, Perlenspiel is not just a game engine. It is itself a game. Its goal is to inspire the conception and realization of elegant, thoughtful games and toys without concern for team management, asset wrangling, or production values. These things are irrelevant to the fundamentals of game design. They are distractions, crutches, and all too often, excuses. Perlenspiel leaves you nowhere to hide. But for a playful imagination, enforced simplicity is no prison. It is a lens focused on the essential. Leonardo da Vinci once wrote, Art lives from constraints and dies from freedom. And the great film director Orson Welles remarked, the enemy of art is the absence of limitations. Unconvinced? Let me throw out the titles of a few games you've probably heard of. Chess, Go, Checkers, Crosswords, Othello, Tetris, Sodoku, all among the greatest achievements in the history of game design. Any one of them could have been invented with Perlenspiel. Thank you.